bottom half bicep curls followed by top half bicep curls. So we're breaking down the bicep curl into two separate sections rather than doing your full range of motion all the way in and back out. We're gonna break it down. So I want you to focus on pulling your shoulder blades down your back, bracing the abs, squeeze your glutes. And you're gonna stop your arms at 90 degrees, hitting the bottom head of your bicep curl. You're gonna come all the way back down, halfway back down. And you can do doubles, you can always do singles if that's where it serves you today, if you find that you're really struggling in this one. And then when you go to do your second half of this move, you're gonna start right at 90 degrees and do the top half of the curl, slow down a little, stop at 90 degrees, and come back up. I find the second half, the challenging part is to not let yourself drop into the shoulders. Actually keep those shoulders pulled down and stop at 90 degrees, as well as not let the elbows pull back. You wanna keep those elbows glued to your rib cage, regardless of whether you're at the bottom half or the top half. So that is this whole move, simple, basic but you want to find that full 90 degree range of motion and you're not going too far down, too far up. You're actually hitting that full stop at 90 degrees, whether you're doing the top or the bottom half of your bicep curl.